I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Disco Inferno. That's not the name of the game. Disco Destruction VR Review. By Barefoot Gaming. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Louie, what are you doing in this game? You burn this place to the ground! You don't burn anything. With good music! Okay, with good music, you you burn their spirits a little. <laughs> this is... It's a DJ simulator, and it's available on HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, Windows Mixed Reality, uh, Valve Index, you know... A bunch of them. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> everything. Uh, this is standing and room scale. It'll use both. Yep. Uh, motion is all done via teleport. So let's get the technicalities out of the way. What do you actually do, Louie? You play music. So you start off, the boss, the owner of Uzo's, which is the club you're going to be working at, he gives you a sample pack of vinyl. you got two decks to play from, and you've got uh, blue, yellow, and red. Uh, so when the bobbleheads walk in, they're going to want you to be DJing. They want you to be playing different musics, and you have three different styles of music you can play. Now they've got arrows that are coming up indicating what color they want. Yep. And? And and so your music or, or your records, they have their own colors on it. You've got your, your blues, your yellows, and your reds. And if they want blue, you play a blue. And if they want red, you play red. Uh, once you actually get uh, enough that you can actually purchase red records. But if you if the music ever stops at any point, they will throw shit at you instantly. It will be poo flying at your face. Literally virtual poo. It looks like the poo emoji coming at you and you can't see anything. It'll like smudge up your vision. Now, the thing about that is that'll actually get you to fail out. You can actually get less money will happen yep. or the manager will come over and he'll just boot you out of the place yep. and say, They'll say, that done. was crap, you get nothing. Yeah, so you want to make sure that music is always playing and you have a slider that moves from your, your left to your right yep. like record. And the funny thing is, I don't know, the funny thing, these things are super duper short. Yes. So I, I, if you were to take a guess at how long one record runs. I would say a minute, maybe a minute. And your whole goal is to survive from opening till closing. Which is seven hours, and you have to go through about 12 records in that time, switching between the colors for their moods, what they're feeling like. And at the top of their arrows, it'll often show what they've got anticipated yes. next. So they might be in a blue mood, which is a little more mellow. Yep. Yellow is more dance music. Yep. And you can also scratch on the records as yeah. well, right? Sometimes you can scratch and everybody loves it. Sometimes you can scratch and it's crap. And there's visualizations for that. They pop up off know. the screen, yeah. Once you make it through the night, if you make it through the night, you get points, you get money, again, yep. depending on how well you did. Yep. And with that, you can buy either bigger packs yep. of, of records, a different selection. And with the experience points, you can unlock things like, uh, you know, one of those light up square dance floors or, uh, you know, disco lights or a yep. disco ball or better equipment. And there are only two venues, so yep. you should know that in advance. Um, aside from that, the only other thing I'm going to say, I guess, is the red records. The red records that are the highest energy, yep. they burn through super duper quick. So fast. But, you know, you can actually supplement that now and then by buying other things like an air horn or uh, one of those DJ pads where it goes... Bow, 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 bow. Or a microphone. Or a microphone, fireworks, you know... Who who isn't thrilled when my, when fireworks aren't set off in, in a club? In a club, <laughs> the microphone's pretty neat actually. When yep. you pull the trigger on that, it. that is when you burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone will actually pick up off of the microphone yep. in and your you'll, headset. You'll hear it back in your ears. So that that is actually kind of cool. This yep. is a it's a ten dollar US game. It's like twelve something Canadian. Let's review this, Louis. Give me pros, give me cons. Would you recommend this game? Yes, no, why? I would rec recommend this game for one reason and one reason only, and that's you can put your own music into it with the WAV files. Otherwise, WAV or OGG? Oh, sorry, or yeah. OGG. I played this for about five minutes and I was done with their selection of music, and I don't know if it's just like free music Tolerant that, man. that they grabbed <laughs> off of the internet, but it certainly was not my style. But the music- You're fine. The music was not great. 
<laughs> it was dance club music. The game comes with dance club music. Yes. And it's, yeah, it is what it is. And, and you may get more mileage out of it. We, I, I think the first time we played it, it we probably played for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Just so that that obviously was a yeah. surprise. Hell do I have for cons? I my my pro was a con. <laughs> um. Okay, my turn now. The pros and cons, honestly, at a ten dollar game, this game plays like a mini game. Yeah, it's it's not massive by any means. Don't expect more than what we've described. If you're going into it because you want to feel like a DJ, it isn't really that either because you're yeah. not actually sampling any of the music. You're blending it left and right, but you're only doing that because it's time-based. You're not yes. doing it to make the music sound better or to sound cooler. Yeah. Your scratches are not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm really feeling it because you can play a free play mode where time isn't an issue yeah. and it's still like, it's just to, to hype up the bobbleheads, right? And, yeah. and that's okay. That in itself is fun and, and I did enjoy it. My con, and it's a it's a fairly large con that I'd really like the developer to work on, is pressing the play and stop button yes. didn't always work. Oh. So when you have to carefully manage your time to the point where you you need to let your records run almost all the way out because you use up the records, yep. and the record is almost all the way out, and you press play on the other one, and it didn't play. You press play again, and you press play again, and it's like, hey, well, that thing's out. Now they're starting to throw fecal matter at me, and... Yep. Ah, okay, so All I should have taken matter. I should have taken a couple extra seconds before and press play, but then you're using up that record. Yes. So the game doesn't really let you blend very much. It's more a matter of time management. It's a time yeah. management game more than a music sim. The fact that you can put in your own music is massive. I I'm clearly not as picky about dance music. I'm okay with the fact I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to this stuff. But for a game that I'm going to be playing for like maybe an hour at a time, yeah. I would say it's fine. Uh, next time I play, I will have my own music inside of it. But there too, it's not like you're going to listen to a whole song. You're only going to get to listen to a minute of it yep. because you're going to be throwing that record out, popping another one in and, and changing back and forth. However, at $10, you kind of have to measure this up to what they're asking. Yeah. And I actually think between the two of us, we've already earned that $10. That, uh, that the game cost. So it was fun. We laughed. It was fun to we change cried. back and forth. It was beautiful. Was a, <laughs> Louis had a lot of crying, but it was based on the music. So yes. uh, you can't really slide him for that. I do <laughs> recommend the game. Uh, I don't like, I, I wouldn't say if, if this doesn't look interesting, don't yeah. buy it. But if it kind of piques your interest a little bit, it's cute. It's well done. You're going to know what to expect as soon as you go in. And I'm still curious what we still have to unlock. Yeah. And if you if you're watching this and you've already played the, played the game, and you said, hey, I didn't know you could scratch. It's because they don't tell you. The what the heck? The tutorial doesn't tell you. We found that out by accident. Louie found that accident, out by accident. I was trying to pick up a record to throw it over my shoulder, and it just wasn't picking it up. And it went, and I went, and the yeah, arrows. Yeah, just like that. And I went, oh, I can scratch, and I can make the people happier, and I can make some more money. That's it. That's our review for... Disco Inferno, <laughs> uh, also known as Disco... Destruction. Yeah. We will talk to you again real soon. Subscribe, like, comment. We love hearing from you. As always, we'll talk to you on the next review. See ya. Bye.